Today, let's take a look at tornadoes, part one. Alabama ranks fourth in the nation in the number of killer tornadoes. During 1991, the tornado that struck Mumford in Talladega County on March 29th took the lives of five people and injured another 13 people. Nine other tornadoes struck Alabama in 1991, injuring another 20 people and causing approximately $5 million in damage. Some of the most violent and powerful tornadoes known have hit the state. The worst tornado disaster occurred on March 21, 1932. On that balmy Monday almost 60 years ago, Alabama suffered from two waves of tornadoes, one about mid-afternoon and another after dark. The tornadoes, striking mainly in north and central Alabama, killed more than 300 people. In more recent history, the Demopolis, Greensboro, Brent, Wilsonville, Mount Cheeha tornado of May 27, 1973, the super outbreak of tornadoes April 3, 1974, the Northwest Birmingham tornado of April 4, 1977, and the Huntsville tornado of November 15, 1989, all aptly and tragically demonstrate the power and longevity that tornadoes can have. Tornadoes in Alabama, especially the more intense ones, sometimes move very fast, usually in a northeasterly direction. Forward speeds of more than 60 miles an hour have been observed. This potential for mile-a-minute destruction makes it imperative that we have a plan of action ready and promptly heed warnings. It is often difficult to spot and identify approaching tornadoes due to limited visibility. It has been estimated that some 80 to 90 percent of tornadoes in the southern United States are obscured by rain and or clouds. Many occur at night. Hills and trees also block our view of the horizon. A combination of these factors, along with the fact that tornadoes themselves vary greatly in size, shape, and appearance, make the task of storm spotting very difficult at times. With exceptionally large tornadoes, the classic funnel shape may be absent and the tornado may be a may appear to be a large turbulent cloud near the ground. At times, the only clue to a tornado's presence may be its roar. Thunderstorms also can produce violent straight-line winds, which produce a similar sound, and it is best to assume that a tornado may be nearby and seek appropriate shelter immediately. In our next segment, Tornadoes Part 2, we'll talk about when tornadoes occur. This is Part 2 about tornadoes a special feature that is part of Alabama's severe weather preparedness week. Sometimes a series of two or more tornadoes is associated with the same parent thunderstorm, and the same area may be struck more than once in a short time. Several places in Alabama have been hit by separate tornadoes only minutes apart. Also in a family-type outbreak, two or more tornadoes may be on the ground at the same time. Tornadoes have occurred in Alabama during every month of the year and during the morning, afternoon, and night. March, April, and May are the most tornado-prone months, and nearly 80% of tornado-related deaths in Alabama have occurred during these months. The most tornado-prone hours are from afternoon to early evening, but there have been many noticeable exceptions to this, including killer storms that have struck in the middle of the night. While the late winter and spring storms are generally the most violent and have been the worst killers, there is a secondary maximum of occurrence during the late fall and early winter. Although the risk is obviously greater during these peak seasons, the important thing to remember is that every tornado is a potential killer, and that no time or place is completely immune from the threat. Tornadoes generally develop and move in response to the parent weather system. While these systems are usually more active in the late winter and spring and to a lesser extent during the fall and early winter, tornadoes can develop at any time if conditions are right. Many things have been written and said about tornadoes, but the key words are preparedness, warning, and response. This is our means of defense. Plan ahead, know what to do, and respond quickly to a warning. Seconds do save lives. We urge you to take time this week to review your tornado safety plans at home, work, and in your car. Consider pr participating in the statewide tornado drill scheduled for Wednesday, February 12th. Tomorrow, we'll take a look at lightning and thunderstorms.